Welcome to the Tiffany Micah podcast. What we do here is build the strength and courage in you to accomplish your big dreams and goals in your sport. No longer will you feel limited. You won't feel you're not good enough. You won't question whether you will make it. Those doubts will disappear because you will have the competitive edge over your opponents and leave them in your wake. And the bonus is others will notice. Listen up and take notes because I will show you exactly how to do it. Hey there, Tiff here and welcome to the Tiffany Micah podcast. Lovely to have you back again. Thanks for listening. I do really appreciate that you are listening to these episodes and I do trust that you are getting a lot of value and benefit out of these. If these are making a difference for you, I'd love it if you could share with me you know what's going on so if you could leave a five star review or wherever you hear these episodes, I'd really appreciate that too. So when we compete in our sport, we look at how we've gone and we measure ourselves as whether we've won or lost or we've come first or second or we've come last. And by looking at that, that tells us in in our mind that we're not improving, especially if we've lost. If we've won, we're like, yeah, I feel good, I rock, you know, I'm the best, I'm awesome. But if we've lost then we judge ourselves on that loss. I'm useless. I'm hopeless. I'm just not improving. I'm getting worse. I'm going backwards. I'm so bad. I just can't do this. Why am I even trying? And actually, you know what? It's not true. It's not true that you're not improving. It's not true that you're not getting better. It's not true that you're going backwards. It's not true. And it's not true for the reason that that you're judging yourself for your level of improvement of whether you have won or lost. That's it. That's how you judge yourself on on your level of improvement. And like what then NASA says, Houston, we have a problem. And we do have a problem. Because if you're not improving as fast as you would like, in Houston, we do have a problem. And so the question that I that comes to my mind is, well, what does it mean if you're not improving as fast as you would like? What does that actually mean? Does that mean that you're not winning? Is that what that means? And if we look at it, it not winning means that what you're doing is you're actually showing yourself that there's areas in your sport that you're weak. There's areas in your sport that your performance level in competition is not actually where you'd like it to be. And that's what's coming up. So if you're saying to yourself, hey, I'm not improving. You know, hey, Georgie, you're not improving. Hey, Tiff, you're not improving. Hey, Caitlin, you're not improving. Hey, Rebecca, you're not improving. Hey, Anita, you're not improving. And if you judge yourself purely on on that win or loss, then that's not the way to go. Because, like I said, it's showing up that there's weaknesses in your sport. There's weaknesses in your performance level when you compete. So what we have to look at is we have to look at these two elements in your sport. So the first one that we have to look at is your weaknesses. And the second one is your performance level during competition. So let's look at the first element, your weaknesses. If you are not improving as fast as you want to, then there are weaknesses in your game. So what could those weaknesses be? Lack of belief, your technique, your mental skills, your gameplay, 
your speed or lack of speed, your endurance or lack of endurance, your inability to cope with pressure, your lack of routines in your game. That's a big list that's building, isn't it? And I'm sure there's more. This is just a a sample of what could be going on. This is a sample of what your weaknesses may be. So I'm getting you to think about this. And then we have the second element, which is your performance level during competition. So what happens during competition? The level of trust in your technique may not be there. Again, that lack of belief. Poor self-talk. Again, that lack of speed or endurance or both. You struggle with pressure. So you struggle with pressure from yourself. You struggle with pressure from your peers. You struggle with pressure from your coach. You struggle with pressure from your parents. What you perceive as pressure. You have no game plan. You have no routines. You have no game structure. You have no plan to take control. You have no focus. There's a lack of focus. And you become dictated by your emotions. So then if you look at it that way and you go, ah, I'm not improving and I'm not improving as fast as I want to. Ah, look at that. Look what Tiff's just brought up here. She's only brought up two, two areas two elements in my game, my weaknesses and my performance level. And look how much we broke it down already. Now, there could be plenty more. These are just a few examples. But you see how what we're doing, everything's starting to open up when we look at it much deeper. So you can't look at it it on a surface level, especially if you want to be the athlete that you want to become. You can't look at it as a win or a loss. You can't look at it, well, I'm not improving as quick as I want to. There are reasons that this is happening. So we have to dig deeper. And this is what frustrates me, is that I wish I knew this when I was your age. I wish I knew this when I was an up-and-coming tennis player. Because all I ever got told was, if I never thought I was improving quick enough, or if I never thought I was improving, or if I ever thought I was going backwards, You know what the comments that were said to me? And this was by, I I can remember it as clear as day. And my coach would say this to my mum in front of me. Tiff just has to play more matches. Tiff just has to play more tournaments. Great. Nice feedback, thanks. But that doesn't help if you are making the same mistakes over and over again. If you are not improving at all and you are so aware of this or you're not improving as quick as you think you should be if you feel like that you're going backwards then we then it's it, it, we've got some issues haven't we because that's i felt like that i felt like if i wasn't improving then i was going backwards and I would gauge how I would whether I had a win or a loss as two things. If I won, that meant that I was a really good player, really good tennis player. But if I lost, that told me that I was a really bad tennis player. That was it. I was either good or I was bad. And I judged everything on, on just performance alone. That didn't give me enough detail. It doesn't give you enough detail. Win or loss, good or bad. That's so black and white. We have to dig much deeper than that. We have to find out what's actually going on. We have to find out what's holding us back. And what this really is, all you're getting right now is you're getting feedback. So if you're feeling like you're not improving quick enough, or you're not receiving those results on the scoreboard, then it's time to change your thinking and your belief around this. Because the fact is, 
All you're doing right now is you're getting feedback. Simple, isn't it? All you're getting is feedback. It's not whether you're good. It's not whether you're bad. It's not whether you're going backwards. It's not whether you're powering through. You're getting feedback on things that are working and things that are not working. So for you to understand, especially now, if you feel as though that you're not improving quick enough or you weren't improving quick enough before we got hit by the COVID-19, things changing a little bit at the moment. We have some restrictions in place. But that will still go on. That thought will still go on. I'm not improving quick enough. Even the training that you're probably currently doing, I'm not improving quick enough. Let's dig deeper. And how we're going to do that is we're going to do it by three steps. Number one, I want you to identify all your weaknesses. Get really clear on what's weak. You don't want to be... You don't want to have any chinks in your armor. We don't want any. We want to be a well-rounded athlete. We can defend anything that's thrown our way. If it hits our armor, ka just falls back off it. Number two, identify what holds you back from competing at the level that you want to. What could be going on there? Performance is very different from training. So what's going on there? What goes on in your head? There could be a lot of mental skills that are going on that that are lacking. There could be that performance under pressure you're not coping with. Identify what's actually holding you back from competing at that level that you want to. Then number three, how are you going to implement these discoveries into your sport? You've got some work to do, haven't you? So don't tell me, Tiff, I'm not improving or I'm not improving quick enough. I want you to say, Tiff, you know what? I discovered this. I discovered what my weaknesses were. I discovered what was holding me back when I was competing. And now I've put a a plan in place to help me move forward and to go into the direction where I want to go so that I am noticing that I am improving. That sounds like a better plan to me. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Love it if you could share with me what you like best about what you heard. If you've got friends that you would that you know that would benefit from these episodes, I'd really appreciate too if you could share these episodes with your friends so that we can build the successful athlete community as big as we possibly can. So I want you to dream big, believe in you, go after your dreams. Take care. Talk soon. Don't go anywhere. Just hang on. Don't go anywhere. Let's crush it when we compete. Come on. Have you signed up yet for the Successful Athlete Masterclass? We look at what's holding you back, what skills you will need to succeed, and how to accomplish your sports goals. Go to tiffanymica.com forward slash Sam. Look forward to seeing you there. Dream big, believe in you, go after your dreams. Let's crush it when you compete.